Being a production major means there's lots of hands-on work with the equipment, and that does not translate well into distance learning. Online classes are extremely difficult to do because we're such a hands-on environment. Uh, so in-person classes are much more preferable. In all honesty, students essentially don't get the same education that they do in hands-on or on campus because that's the hands-on environment. You really don't get to use the TV studio in a virtual world. You don't get to check out gear in an in a online class. You don't get that experience of the touching that we have involved in the class. And that, that was, while it can be done and it was done, it's not optimal at all in our, in our industry and what we do. While distance learning can hurt the effectiveness of the teaching, it also takes away from the social aspect of college. Me, I personally prefer in-person classes. I like to be, uh, you know, interact with the class, meet new people. That's one of my favorite things, you know, at school is learning, meeting people from different walks of life. Um, you know, when it comes to college and things like that, like you build bonds with people, not through Zoom, but through, you know, going through things with them and stuff like that and doing assignments and having conversations. And then the instructors, like, you just don't get that uh, personal feel, you know, one-on-one -on -one conversation, talk to them. It's different when talking from Zoom and then just being, you know, in front of them. So I definitely prefer in person. That's not to say distance learning has no perks of its own, though. Definitely a benefit to online class is just being able to roll over. If you're like, you know, sleeping from the previous night, you have a class, uh, let's say at 9.25 a.m. and you wake up at nine, you don't have to rush the drive and get on, you know, get on the highway to make it in time for class. You can just, you know, wake up, freshen up in the bathroom and put on a top on and then go right, right to class. Many students and professors feel comfortable coming back to campus, as long as proper safety measures are taken. As long as I'm wearing a um, mask, doing what I can to sterilize the equipment and the facilities for the students. If we do all of that, I mean, our chances are pretty good that it's not going to affect. I feel comfortable in it being in person classes, especially because, uh, like I said, the school has a pretty strict policy on masks and whatnot. Um, they have a very great uh, staff that does the testing, which is free for students. Um, I've used it a lot for the ESPN thing, and it's very accurate, so I think they're doing a good job of uh, controlling COVID for the school. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have another idea you'd like to see us make, just drop it in the comments down below. Subscribe to Spinnaker TV for all things UNF. I'm Chase Harmon, and thank you for watching.